I'm really excited because I've come up with a nice formula that will uh, let you make your own freezer packs that will go well below freezing and last for a significant period of time. Um, spent about two months playing around with different uh, different formulas and uh, mixes and I came up with a really good one. So what we've got here is freezer packs. These two are frozen. These large ones are for bait when I go surf fishing. Um, I've made some small ones up and these are for food. I don't want to mix the two up. Um, just precaution and a little bit of safety. But let me uh, let me go through how I came up with this formula and uh, stay tuned so you'll see what, exactly what the formula is. So you're probably wondering how I got these ice packs to get so cold and last as long as they did. It was about a month and a half to two months of experimentation with various materials. I'll show you a uh, materials list in a moment. The um, What I did was I mixed these things up. I froze them. I used 500 milliliter bottles, so there was basically 500 milliliters of each of these components, um, either by themselves, uh, various concentrations, and then I uh, froze them uh, for at least 24 hours and put them in a cooler with a uh, remote thermostat uh, right next to them in the initial phase and recorded it uh, under time lapse for a 24 hour period. This is what that looked like. You probably don't want to be bored with watching all of these. There's a lot of them. I think I have about 16 of these total. So uh, let's cut this short and let's go straight to what the materials were. So the ingredients were really quite simple. Of course, we started with water, um, basically ice, uh, salt in various concentrations because that does lower the freezing point of water. Uh, propylene glycol does the same thing, just slightly different. It's used in... Uh, various things. It is safe. It's used, for example, in, um, in e-cigs. Um, it's used as a diluent in the medical community and it's uh, used as a, as a safe alternative to antifreeze. Alcohol, um, I won't use the isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. And if you stick that stuff in a bag and put blue dye in it like some folks do, uh, it looks like a tasty poisonous treat. And so no, I use rum, uh, a little bit safer, I presume and hydrophilic polymers. These are the little crystals that you can find in um, uh, garden sections. Uh, you add to the soil, they swell up, they, they absorb um, they have four to six hundred times uh, their weight in water. Uh, they're actually really good um, freezer additives, if you will, and a lot of the commercial packs that you'll find actually use hydrophilic polymers. So here's the first set of trials that I ran. Um, you'll see uh, I froze everything uh, from water through various salt concentrations, uh, polymer ice pack, which was a little inconclusive because the amount of a uh, hydrophilic polymer that was in that ice pack was way in excess of what any of these um, had. 10% propylene glycol um, with hydrophilic polymer and 10% alcohol of which I used rum. Rum's a little bit safer. Uh, Probably not much, but certainly safer than isopropyl alcohol. In any event, uh, I ran these tests, um, recorded the output temperatures using a uh, time-lapse photography, and this is what I got. Uh, by and large, the polymer ice pack, ice pack did better, but again, it was inconclusive because it was the amount of polymer and uh, water that was in there was way in excess of these. Uh, in this test, I put the thermostat right next to the ice packs. Uh, the next... <laughs> The next longest lasting one was, uh, was uh, water, believe it or not. The uh, one that I was looking for, which reached a cold temperature, because if you'll notice, the, the, the water did not reach a very cold temperature. Um, but the 10% uh, propylene glycol did. So let me highlight that one. You'll see it reached a very cold temperature. Not as cold as some of the other mixtures, but it had a, a substantially longer um, freeze time, I guess you could call it, or the amount of time it kept things cold. So then I ran a second test, and um, I picked out the most likely winners in this, uh, or who performed the best, and I came up with this mixture. We did water kind of as a baseline, uh, a polymer ice pack with the correct percentage, which was 4.5 grams of PG to 500 milliliters of water, 10% uh, propylene um, glycol, and 15 percent 10 percent alcohol then 4.5 grams of hydrophilic polymer and what we got 
was pretty interesting because what it shows was that the uh, 10% alcohol got colder, but the one that lasted the longer was really the 10% um, uh, PG. If you see this line right here, it didn't get quite as cold as the other ones, but it did last longer and kept the uh, cooler longer. This test I ran a little differently. What I did for this test was take the uh, the ice pack that I created with these mixtures and put it on one side of the cooler and put the thermostat on the other side of the cooler. And the intent was to see how, lo how long or how cold and how long it would keep the cooler itself. And the 10% uh, um, PG or, or propylene glycol mixed in with hydrophilic polymer really did the best. I mean, you would get 10 hours of cold. So um, I'll be mixing up some ice packs of this, uh, putting more in the cooler than I was using, which was only 500 milliliters of any of these substances that was frozen, and, and see how well it does, how cold it actually gets that little cooler and, and how long it lasts. So let me go ahead and make up a few of these ice packs and I'll show you exactly how I'm doing these. Um, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I've got six of these hydrophilic gel, mixture of 10% propylene glycol uh, to uh, water, 500 milliliters total between the two, um, a teaspoon of uh, the hydrophilic gel crystals, well, hydrophilic polymer crystals. Uh, I'm going to let these sit. I might let them sit overnight because it does take the crystals a uh, bit, bit of time to absorb the water once you get the, the uh, polymers in there. Um, I noticed that in my earlier experiments. So I'll let these sit over the night. I'll stick them in the freezer for at least 24 hours. We'll put them in a the cooler and we'll see exactly what kind of results we get um, in terms of uh, how cold and uh, how long it lasts. So here's the final results. Um, comparing it to water or ice, regular ice, you can see this blue line up here. It's just you know, way the heck up there. Um, what I did was I uh, put equal amounts of these uh, components, the 10% uh, PG and hydrophilic polymer um, um, and the uh, retail polymer ice pack in a cooler, ran them for 24 hours and uh, used time-lapse photography to see what the temperature was. Uh, the retail polymer ice pack actually is really good. So if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing these yourselves, you, you can get decent results with this. But when you add the uh, magic formula, the 10% um, PG and hydrophilic polymer, it makes a vast difference. I mean, you can see the initial temperature was 13 degrees in that cooler, and it slowly climbed up, and for the most part, about 10 degrees colder uh, Fahrenheit than the, uh, than the retail polymer ice pack. Here's a quick uh, view of what these ice pack look like. There's a number of different ones out there. They're basically hydrophilic polymer, and um, you dip them in water, they swell up and freeze. They're actually really convenient. They're not bad at all. But if you want super cold uh, for a long period of time, do your own. 10% PG and hydrophilic polymer is the, uh, the magic go-to that, uh, that works uh, or that has worked the best for me. I told you I'd let you know what the formula is, and here it is. It's very simple. It's all safe. Um, propylene gly glycol and uh, hydrophilic polymer gel. Let me give you a close-up of this stuff. Uh, propylene glycol is uh, fairly safe. It's uh, used as an alternative to antifreeze. It's used as an additive um, to various medications. It's also used um, in um, e-cigs, uh, in the vape juice, if you uh, partake of that. The uh, other item is hydrophilic gel. Uh, these little crystals will expand, absorb four to 500 times their own weight, 
Um, pretty neat. So the formula, as uh, I uh, put it together, is a mixture of 10% propylene glycol with water, and um, then you add that to the uh, to the uh, hydrophilic uh, polymer gels. Um, the ratios I've been using are 50 ml of this. Um, basically, put it in a water bottle till it's up to 500 ml. That that gives us a 10% um, PG mix and uh, one teaspoon of the gel crystals into a water bottle and um, mix it all together. Let the, uh, let the crystals expand. They'll, they'll soak up every last bit of that water and, and PG mix or propylene glycol. And um, once you got that, you can uh, bag them uh, either in these large bags. I use the heat sealer or these small bags. So um, works really good. And um, you've seen the results, uh, really cold, long lasting. I'm really pleased with the results. It's just taken me a long time to do this. There's a lot of experimentation, time-lapse videos. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to hit like, um, subscribe, and hit the bell button after you do that so you'll be notified of any more videos I put up on the, uh, on the channel. Thanks for watching.